a hummuser for sure. And today's video is all about how to position yourself to have your prayers answered and received from the Lord. Now, the mistake I used to make in the past, and I see others making this mistake as well, is striving too much. Many times you may come across a believer who's really praying for something and, and pressing in for something and they are fasting and praying, almost punishing themselves and demanding from the Lord, Lord, let it happen this way, let it happen now. And then nothing happens for this person and they end up bitter and disillusioned. Why did the Lord not hear me? It's not that the Lord didn't hear you. There's so much else to consider. First of all, Number one, number one, if there's any sin in your life, you have to address the sin because if there's sin in your life, the Lord cannot effectively work on your situation and also your prayers will not be heard. It's the prayers of a righteous man that avail much. But if you're not living righteously, those prayers which you could call an incense rising up to the Lord, they're going to be obstructed by the attack of the enemy and the obstruction that comes from the enemy that has been allowed in your life. Okay, so that's number one is you have to make sure there's no sin in your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you what are the doors you need to close. What is it you need to repent of? Now, the second thing is, of course, getting the word in you is so important. And number three, giving, giving generously to the kingdom of God. I want to talk about the scripture in the gospel that says, when you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you will ask anything in my name and it will be done for you so the key there is when you abide in me and I abide in you two things are happening here number one you're abiding in him who is he of course it's Jesus Christ the Prince of Peace and because he's the Prince of Peace one of the clues that you're in him is you will have a great amount of peace about you that's when you know you're resting in the Lord. And also when you're in Him, you're going to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit, patience and joy. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. You are going to be a source of light and refreshment for those around you. But if you find that you're not exemplifying this, then you are not abiding in the Lord. That's that moment you want to catch. So if you've been praying for something, crying your eyes out and fasting and praying and torturing yourself and speaking the scriptures, but nothing's happening. It's because you're not abiding in Him. You're tense. You're unforgiving. You're angry. One of those is happening. And when you're contracted that way and you're worried and stressed and tense, then the Lord cannot work on your behalf. It's almost like a machine that's too tightly wound together. It's just not moving. And then you need the oil of gladness to lubricate it and get the parts moving and working correctly. That's how I see it. So catch yourself if you find that you're overly tense and worried. That's when you need to forget yourself, forget your issues, and retrain your mind to now look upon the Lord. You want to get back to that point where you're worshipping Him and you're in love with Him. When you're in that space, rested, relaxed, just in awe of Him and your attention is captivated by Him, things start happening and moving. So this is a key element to abide in Him. And that's why you can do all the right things and fast and pray and speak the scriptures and nothing happens because you're just immobile and, and, and tight and you're, you're not abiding in Him. So that's what you have to do is snap out of it. The key really is to forget ourselves. This is taking captive every thought and imagination and giving the Lord all our minds, all of ourselves so that we are now focused on Him and His commands, pleasing Him. Really forget yourself, forget your issues. And one of the ways you can do that is to serve others. Put your thoughts on someone else, you get help. And when you are being of assistance to others, 
the Lord is able to work on your behalf because you're not locked in on your problems and issues and you're 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 resting and you're you're just being an open vessel that he's using and and pouring his glory out of and in that space you find the refreshment that only comes from him so not only are you refreshing others and being of assistance to others you get the benefits as well and if let's say you have a specific problem that you've been concerned about you know what you can do ask the lord to bring upon your path those who have that same issue and you put yourself in a position to pray for them when you pray for someone with that very issue that you have there's a grace that comes upon you let's say you have vision problems then pray lord bring upon my path those who have problems with their eyes and when they come pray on them bless them speak perfect eyesight over them and let me tell you you will get it too so move aside from looking at your problems take the focus away serving others blessing and adoring the lord and then you will indeed see breakthrough come and prayers answered so what happens if you have a deadline and you have an emergency and the clock's ticking away that's the enemy just trying to get you tense all over again reject the fear reject it rebuke it have no part of it so that you can abide in him even in the midst of the storm this is the key to your breakthrough all right let's go to the second part of that scripture it says if you abide in me and my words abide in you so you keep feeding yourself with the word of god keep taking it in retraining your mind so that you're not thinking like the world and you're not thinking according to limitation and you are completely convinced that nothing is impossible for god that he's a good god he's the most amazing father you could possibly have and he's going to bring a brilliant outcome because you're resting in him you have presented the situation to him requesting his assistance requesting the outcome that you have in mind and you trust that and you have a confidence in that that's when you see prayers being answered often things will not happen the way we expect so you have to be open like a child so that he can move in the way that he chooses God is never late and he's never early he always acts right on time we have to train ourselves to be patient patiently worshiping him believing in him trusting in him until that moment comes where he decides to make that move everything we go through in life it's a test how are we going to respond how are you going to be engaging with the lord right to the very point when that desire manifests and sometimes when you're praying for something that's not good for you you don't get it because it's not good for you and then you see the hand of the lord when he creates a different outcome that's so much better trusting him resting in him abiding in him if you're going through a time of anxiety or stress remember your key to breakthrough is to return to a state of peace i pray the lord blesses you with such grace and peace all fear leave all anxiety leave abide in the lord as his words abide in you put your request to him in trust and faith knowing he has heard and will indeed answer well, that's a quick tidbit for today. I hope that was helpful. Love you guys and shalom. Closer to heaven when I'm in your arms Feeling your presence